All right, welcome back. Here's what I'm going to do, because this is only really one section. We split it into two because there was a lot of information, but it's certainly not like a whole chapter worth of stuff. So what I'm going to do is just talk through the review. Uh, I'm going to make it quick, and hopefully uh, you'll have no problems with it. The whole first page of the review, if you look at it all, is just simplifying square roots. And so to simplify them, you need to use the number line, which I put on the review answer key to the right. Okay, but you should uh, be able to produce that by yourself. And if you notice for a question like number one, I'm going to talk about certain questions. I won't go through every single one because I have all the work shown and you can look. It's pretty self-explanatory. But if you go through and, and use the steps where you find the factors on the number line, like for 27, you start at 27 and you work your way left on the number line, the top of the number line, then the first uh, factor you should come to is 9. And so it's 9 times 3. That is really helpful for like number 4. It says the square root of 80. I don't know if you're going to think of 16 right off the top of your head, but if you start at 80 on the number line, you work your way left. 16 is the first factor of 80 that you find, and that will reduce to 4. And remember, you can multiply coefficients with coefficients and uh, radicals with radicals. We're going to do more of that on the next page. But let's go through some of these. Uh, number 1, as I said, you, you simplify square root of 27. Eventually, that becomes 3 times the square root of 3, and there's a 5 in front. So that first 3 and the 5 you multiply, you get... 15. Number 3 I put on there because number 3 simplifies no further. It does not simplify. So you get the square root of 30. You can't, you can't simplify that anymore, so you just have to leave it. So you're all done with that one. Number 5 I put on there because the square root of 36 is a perfect square. So that's just times 6. So it's negative 3 times 6. You get negative 80 or 18. Okay, number 7 is another one that doesn't simplify. Uh, and number 9, simplify, 75 will be 25 and 3. The 25 uh, turns into a whole number 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. And that's basically the first page. That's how you do the whole first page. It's pretty simple. That will be about half of your test. The test does look like the review. Uh, so if you can do that first page, you're good to go. On the second page, remember, you need the same number underneath the radical if you want to combine these. And so this is really like 2 radical 6 minus 3 radical 6 that's like 2 minus 3. You have 2 of something minus 3 of something. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So you subtract those coefficients. You get negative 1 radical 6. It's also OK just to write negative radical 6. Just make sure we can see that negative. For number 12, notice that the first two have radical 2s. And the last term has a radical 6. So you can put the radical 2s together. It's negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. Um, and again, you don't need to write the 1 if you don't want to. But you cannot add that to the radical 6, so you leave it as is. 1 radical 2 plus 3 radical 6. For 13, you have to simplify radical 45. Eventually, when you do, that turns into a radical 5. You have 3 radical 5 plus 6 radical 5. 3 plus 6 is 9, so you get 9 radical 5. The next part is where we get a little more challenging. Remember, you can multiply radicals with radicals and coefficients with coefficients. So 6 doesn't simplify, 10 doesn't simplify, but when you multiply them, you get the square root of 60. Uh, that does simplify. Use the number line. You get 4 times 15, and the square root of 4 is 2. So you're done with that. Uh, for number 15, 4 times 3 is 12. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 does not simplify, so you're done with that one. Number 16, you multiply the square root of 10 throughout the parentheses. It's the distributive property. So you get the square root of 10 times the square root of 10. That's the square root of 100 or 10. You can just write 10 there if you want to. Uh, and then you get the square root of 10 times 4. So that's 4 square root of 10. You do not get a 40 out of that because they're different. One's under a radical and one is a coefficient. So you basically simplify the square root of 100 equals 10 and you're all done with that one. You can't add them together anymore. Some students ask, why can't you add the 10 plus the 4? Well, because of our order of operations. You have to multiply first before you add. Uh, so that's, and because one of them's a radical, I mean, we can't multiply that out. We leave it written in that form. And so that's how we write your final answer. 10 plus is 4 times the square root of 10. Okay, for 17, it's the distributive property again. You go through both, except you have negative 3 times negative 5, that's 15. Negative 3 times negative 6, that's uh, radical 18. That's the first swoop of the, di of the, the dis distributive property. Sorry, having a hard time getting it out here. The second swoop is negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. And then radical 3 times there's no other radical there. So we're just going to put a radical 3 down. It kind of tags along. And then you simplify. The radical 18 
uh, it turns into 3 radical 2. Then you multiply, you get a 45. The final line, you have a radical 2 and a radical 3, so you cannot combine them anymore. For 18, you have to double distribute. So that's where all these swoops come from. It's negative 3 times 1, negative 3 times 5 radical 2, and then negative radical 2 times 1, and negative radical 2 times 5 radical 2. So there's all the work for that. You should get negative 13 minus 16 radical 2. The last two type for the, uh, before the application here, remember you can break this up. The square root of 2 divided by 3 is the square root of 2 over the square root of 3, uh, but we can't have a radical in the bottom, so we multiply by a form of 1, radical 3 over radical 3. That's how you get rid of the radical. You go across the top, you get radical 6. You go across the bottom, you get 3. Radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. And you have to check, does radical 6 simplify? No, it doesn't, so you're all done there. Done with number 19. Number 20, you get the square root of 12 over the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is a perfect square. That just simplifies to 2. The square root of 12 is radical 4 times radical 3, which is 2 radical 3. And look, these 2s cancel, so you're just left with radical 3. But if you were smart... Hello? Yeah. Sorry, little intercom there. Uh, if you were smart, you'd do 12 divided by 4 is 3, and you're all done. Radical 3, you don't have to go through all that work. Um, so there's that problem for you. Number one and two, I tell you what, if you guys don't know what perimeter and area are by now, I swear to goodness, you, I, I don't know what to say about that. Because perimeter, you add up all the way around the outside. My recommendation for number one, you simplify them all first. They all turn into radical fives. And for number, two, well, let's not move on. Let's simplify them all. So you get five radical five, two radical five, four radical five, four radical five. Add them all together. You combine the coefficients. The radical 5 stays, so you get 15 radical 5. For number 2, area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So here the base is 2 radical 11, and the height is radical 5. And notice, the 1 half and the 2, they cancel each other. So I just put a little cancel mark there, and you're left with uh, radical 11 times radical 5, which is the square root of 55. You're all done with that one. Number 3, this is a real-life problem. Mr. Bruss loves cows, and he loves hamburgers. And he would argue that one hamburger has a thousand cows. That's what you should get there after you distribute thousand cows. And number four, perimeter and area. It's two separate questions. The perimeter, it's just like the other problem. Radical five plus radical five plus radical ten. The radical fives are the same, so you get one plus one, which is two. So your final answer there is two radical five plus radical ten. Remember, those aren't the same, so you can't add them together. And lastly, the area of this triangle is one half base times height, one half radical five times radical five. Radical five times radical five is just five, and then uh, times a half is five halves or two point five. Either one will work. The only well, I like five halves because I want to tell you no decimals on this, no decimals on the whole test because we're simplifying here. That's it. So. Practice. If you need more practice, you think you need a little more, I put a corrective assignment up there with the answers. It's on the webpage. Good luck to you. See you.